So is it like we just got together or we've been sneaking around? Oh, I got it. What if we ran into each other at Chipotle, Lady in the Tramp, the burrito? But no. This can't be that hard. It's harder than you think. My parents don't even believe it yet. You told them five seconds ago. They know I would never go out with a guy like you. You have been with one guy your entire life. Jonathan's a better man than you'll ever be. And yet you left him. Which is why exactly? Because he seems like he checks all your boxes. Okay, you don't know my boxes and you never will. Just figure this out, please. Okay. We just suck face in front of everybody. Half of them think they set us up anyway. No, that's too much. We need to do something that's more hidden so it feels more real, not some fuckboy wedding hookup. You keep calling me a fuckboy like it's an insult? I own that shit. Let's just be affectionate. I know it's a foreign concept for you. I can be affectionate. I'll affectionate the shit out of you. I can't believe your parents invited Jonathan. Now I have to find a table to sit him at. What about B? No, no, she's fine. She's sitting with us at our table. No, I'm talking about how she's already at a low point because she's going through a breakup, and I don't even know what's happening with school. She never even talks about it anymore. And I guess I could put her with the cousins. Why? <laughs> all right. No. Oh, shit. Wow. Check it out, guys. Nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. See, I told you it's gonna be good. Man, that's nice. Oh, wow. Wow. <sighs> so beautiful. Here it is. I feel the serenity. Pretty spectacular, hey? It's amazing. Okay. Right. Wow. This is Look just at. so romantic. Okay. Nuzzle my neck. Okay. Get in there. And you are short. You are not tall enough to say that. Oh. Oh, are you ticklish? No, I'm acting. Like a toddler? <laughs> no, go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can stop. Mm -hmm. Beg me. Beg me to stop a little bit. Stop! Just let me do it. Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted. <clears throat> Too hard. Sorry. Yeah, sell it. Okay, not in circles. It's not a magic lamp. What? Playing Bop It. I've never rubbed a buffer show. Clearly, you've tried. Are you not wearing underwear? It's a swimsuit. I'm on holiday. Hmm. Okay, just mind the gap. How's that? That's good. Just like, but you don't have to hover, just kind of. Oh, man, the woods. I'm sorry. Okay, just take it out. You try. If I'm gonna stick my finger in my own ass, how's that gonna convince? Oh, on you. I can't. Jesus Christ, it's like a vacuum back down here. How'd you get in this thing? Well, oh, that's tight. Oh, see, it's like holding a baby bird. God damn it. Were they not watching this whole time? Like a, a mole or something on your butt? No. Really? Because I feel something. I don't have a mole. What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? No pictures. Put the cameras down. We're not going to take a spirit. Are there any more? Where are they? Ah, I feel it. I feel it. I think I see something. What do you see? What do you see? Oh, oh no, that's just a part of you. You're fine. All right, look, if I have one of those little fuckers in me, they might be in you. I'm good. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. Yeah. All right, little one, we join your journey. We do not inherit the earth. We just borrow it from our creatures. Hey, guys. What did we miss? Wow. Why can't I get this? Because you're meant to learn to dive when you're six. <laughs> You got this, huh? You ever tried focusing on your toes? My mom taught me this trick. If you pretend like there's a string from your nose to your toes, you just 
kind of maintain that position. You mind doing it again? This time I'm gonna shout out a trivia question. I think it's just gonna help clear your mind. Just make sure it's a question about airplanes or the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Okay, um, uh... What company created the Concorde? <laughs> collaboration between British Airways and the French government. How'd I do? <laughs> Get in there. Maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Well, she, she passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. All right, I'm gonna go again, but um, this time give me one with a little shorter answer. I have a better idea. Now you just let me do everything, I'll guide you in. Don't think. Be careful of his shoulder. Yeah, I wrecked it jumping off a moving train in Paris. Wouldn't let me see the Eiffel Tower alone. I had to tell her I love her. When you know she's the one, nothing else matters. <laughs> I'm waving. Thank you. Thank you, brother. There you go. Did I do it? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Ooh. babe. Oh, your dad's a natural. I'm so glad you guys got to spend some time with Ben. Uh, are, are you two really uh, getting to know each other in a very respectful manner, one befitting such a kind and intelligent woman as your daughter? <laughs> yes, we are in the early stages. Not too early. But also not so advanced. Just that magical moment when two people come together in this crazy journey we call life. That's why I was so worried when Jonathan showed up. I, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I even suggested we hide our light under a bushel for his sake. But our love is just so strong. And I know what you guys are thinking. But he's much older. They weren't, right? Probably thinking I'm 27, early 28s. <laughs> yes, we are very happy. Happiest. Yep. <laughs> you know, you looked like that back in the day. Oh, no, I didn't. That guy's made out of cobblestone. <laughs> They're holding hands. I think it's working. I can't believe you dumbasses were so easily fooled. Was that bullshit about your mom? What? The story about the giant wrench. I thought it might have been a line you tell all your one night nothings. You ever heard that too? Like, I didn't mean. I'm sorry. And it wasn't a line. Thanks for being so nice to my dad. You should probably rinse off. You have his SBF a billion on you now. Cheers, mate. I'll just grab a quickie. OK. <laughs> so, Australia, what do you reckon, eh? How are you finding it? I know. It's, it's great. Maz goes on about you all the time. A ripper cunt, she calls you. Maz is Margaret, and Ripper Cunt is... Good friend. Oh, yeah. You know you had a proper surf when sand gets all up your clacker. <laughs> yeah, and your gobbler, too. Gobbler is... You know, your hog bonnet. You know, your beef cap. Come on, mate, you know the anteater. Anyway, good to have you. Catch ya.